Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Friday, June 4th, 2021. And we begin with a 10-year-old aspiring sports reporter getting the invite of a lifetime. Camilla Pepper Pursley of New York City was flown to Los Angeles this week to help pro NBA broadcasters call Wednesday night's game between the Clippers and Dallas Mavericks. Pepper earned a large following on social media for interviewing star WNBA players on her channel Dish with Pepper and her podcast She Got Next, but didn't plan on being a journalist when she first picked up the mic at age six. She just wanted to bring people smiles and get answers to her own questions. Fast forward to fourth grade, that curiosity and poise caught the attention of the Clippers president, who said her future isn't just bright, it's blinding. NASA announced this week that it expects to launch two missions to Earth's evil twin within the next 10 years. Venus may have been habitable several million years ago, but now it runs a toasty temperature of 864 degrees. The space agency's goal is to understand how the planet became an inferno-like world when it has so many other characteristics similar to ours. The spacecraft, called Da Vinci Plus, will study the atmosphere and determine if the planet once had an ocean, while Veritas will observe the planet's surface, volcanic activity, and geologic history. It's been 30 years since NASA last visited. One scientist says it'll be like rediscovering the planet all over again. It's a sticky situation for Major League Baseball. At issue is some funny business reportedly going on in the gloves and hats of pitchers. New pictures and some new statistics seem to point to an increase in the use of homemade gummy substances used to give the thrower a better grip and a higher spin rate on fastballs. Some suspect that's why offense is in the tank this year. According to ESPN, the league's batting average through the end of May is just 236, which is the lowest since 1968, and there have been six no-hitters this season, one shy of the record since 1900. The owners met yesterday and promised to give umpires more leeway in dealing with a problem known as baseball's dirty little secret. What will it take to get more people vaccinated? States in the U.S. are dangling one incentive after another to convince those who haven't yet sat for a shot to do so. In Alabama, the Talladega Speedway is offering kids 16 and older the chance to race their own wheels on the 2.66-mile track. Drivers will take laps behind a pace car at highway speed, including on the 33-degree bank turns. Illinois is giving out tickets to Six Flags. Delaware and Ohio are raffling off college scholarships. West Virginians are eligible to win tricked-out trucks, and many governors are offering big-money lotteries. President Biden calls June a National Month of Action, in which he hopes to get 70 percent of the U.S. adult population at least partially vaccinated. Right now, that number stands at 63 percent. 49 days and counting until the Summer Olympics in Tokyo, and according to Japanese officials, it's too late to call them off. But putting on the games requires an enormous amount of people power, and 10,000 of the 80,000 volunteers signed up to help just quit. The country is in its fourth wave of the pandemic, and only 3% of the population is fully vaccinated. But the International Olympic Committee says the Games will start on July 23rd regardless. Some athletes are already there. This week, the Australian women's softball team became the first major group of competitors from abroad to arrive and set up their bubble. One last Kid News note, the COVID delay for Disneyland Avengers Campus is over. The newest theme park for superheroes opens its doors to trainees today. It's located inside California Adventure, where a bug's land used to be, and celebrates all things Marvel. A similar Avengers campus is being built at Disneyland Paris. That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News Quiz. How old is the junior journalist who helped call the Clippers-Mavericks game? Pepper Pursley is 10. What planet is known as Earth's evil twin?
Venus. How much of the U.S.'s adult population is partially vaccinated? Sixty-three percent. What dirty little secret is Major League Baseball promising to crack down on? Pitchers using illegal sticky substances for a better grip. In one for the road, it's a new viral summer food trend on TikTok, and singer Lizzo gave it a try. Maybe so the rest of us don't have to. The combo: watermelon with a squeeze of yellow mustard. The Grammy winner tried it for the camera three times and looked more confused with each bite. In the end, she didn't answer her own question of "Is it bussin' or is it disgusting?" But others sure did, and the comments range from revolting to a trend that needs to go away. If you're feeling adventurous, the original poster says, "For the best result, use French's mustard." Before we head out for the weekend, it's time to shout out our Kid News teachers and their classrooms, starting with Miss Lindley at Ari Thompson in Tuscumbia, Alabama, to Missouri for Mrs. Foos at Montrose R14 in Montrose, and Mr. Halbert and his Dragons at St. George School in Herman, Mrs. Barth at Wellington Elementary in Flower Mound, Texas, and Mrs. Warren at Cardinal Elementary in Eldon, Iowa. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to take our week in review quiz, and we'll see you back here for more kid news Monday morning.